Yo, what is up? This is Aragotic with another update, level 17. So basically, I was going to wait until the rookie event was completely over day 7, but it does give you an extra few days, which is really, it's kind of necessary. Because I figured by day 7, we'd be able to finish it all pretty quickly. But getting a hero glyph to tier 4 is pretty tough, and that's just on day 3. Day 4, you have to clear floor 30 of the uh, Void Tower, which is also kind of hard. Uh, I'm at 24. It's probably... It's probably easy if you push for a level 60, but I kind of got, I kind of messed around with different teams. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Obtaining a six star hero, that also seems kind of tough by day four. I, I'm not quite sure. Like, don't get me wrong. It's not like it's impossible by any means, but it is tough. Like for rookie challenge events, it's definitely tough. Day five, we were able to do that pretty quickly. It was pretty straightforward. Uh, we currently have an event that is gear enhancement. So we pushed that at the same time of the foodie guide. Uh, day 6, pretty easy overall, except uh, synthesizing a hero and clear floor 50 of the Void Tower. So I'm already stuck before 30, but again, next time I try, probably pretty quick, we'll go through it. Uh, clear chapter 8 hard, this is probably not going to be very hard at all. And synthesizing a hero. Uh, so synthesizing a hero is kind of where I'm going to struggle. Because, I mean, potentially, right? So, go to Hakron. We need to get these all, guys all to 30, and we need to send them three times. So, we need three. Uh, we need one, and then three more of them. So, four copies of each. Now, I haven't done... Hmm, where is it? Summon, right. I haven't been summoning too much, but I, we are kind of low still. I haven't been doing the normal summons, which I'm pretty sure is going to be what we're looking for to get them. So I'll probably do that next and hope in 140 pulls we're able to pull enough for the ascensions of each of them. Which hopefully we can because then the uh, synthesis won't be too hard at all. Uh, taking a look quick at the events. We still have the Alanda sign in event that's for the next 22 days. This has pretty good rewards for people. You just gotta sign in for the 7 days. Uh, so next one was the gear enhancement. This is the one I'm currently working on which I will be pushing for 3k. I think it's definitely worth it with all the stuff we get, especially the four star two uh, pumpkins. I think that's definitely, definitely worth it. 100k jellies is nice, and we'll get the summoning crystal on the way too. So, magic pass. This is just the battle pass. Since I'm not, I don't plan on buying the battle pass. I'm kind of just going through it at my own pace. I'm not really paying attention too much to it. Promote two heroes to six stars. We'll probably do that by the time the battle pass, you know, before the battle pass ends. Because what is it? It's, um, 18 days. Well, maybe. Yeah, probably. Probably. Uh, we're up to almost 5k crystals, which, you know, not too bad. Let's go to the shop. So, again, with the shop, I'm buying out the glyphs. I'm buying out the XP jellies. I'm buying out the charms. I am ignoring the gear for the most part. I mean, I'll check the five star, but like this, I don't really care too much about this. It's... It's nice because I don't have many 5 star pieces, but at the same time I want to wait because 16k, it adds up quickly. Diamond shop, I don't know if the holy pumpkin 4 star is worth it, but I did it anyways. The foodie 3 times, I don't really regret this either. And the advanced summoning crystal, you can buy 3 at once. Uh, it resets in 2 days, I'm not, I can't remember if this was a 7 day or not, but I'm pretty sure it was. So with that, these were 100 each which came to 300. This right here is your normal amount that you'd be buying them for, which is 150, which comes to 450. So it, it saves you a good amount. So I would definitely buy them each day. I am buying the meal coupons. It gives you two coupons for, uh, I don't even know. It's, it's worth it. You know, you know, I, if I was planning ahead of time, I should have probably waited to buy them to show the prices. But, you know, I'm going off head. Uh, meal coupon, 30. So a guild vault. You just challenge the guild uh, bosses and do guild challenges for the entirety of the uh, guild, like all the members. So definitely uh, it's something that I kind of was slacking on. I didn't join a guild quickly, and then when I did, I got kicked because I probably wasn't active for a day or two. <laughs> cough, cough. Whoops, my bad. Anyways, I joined another one in pretty quickly. It's not hard to join them. And you definitely want to start grinding up. I'm not sure what is worth the values yet. I'm going to wait and just keep on building and building. Because this might be worth it. Because this will take... Once you get to the... Uh, enough. If you had enough of these, I mean, it's only going to take you, what? Weekly limit, 4 out of 4, 10 each. So, 1, 2, 3, 
like two and two and a half weeks. Well, no, you'd probably have to wait again. So three weeks, three weeks to get her all the way up. And you know, I don't know if she's completely worth it, but I know for a fact I cannot completely go for it either. You know, I just realized synthesis for Yolanda. I wonder if the charms you get from around for the heroes that's considered synthesis as well. Not sure if that'd be easier or not. Arena, I actually forgot to do any today, but again, gonna wait on purchasing things because I'm not quite sure yet the value of them. Trial shop, uh, again, we're just waiting on this stuff. It's not a big deal. Here, essence, we're not doing that yet. Okay, let's, what are we doing? Uh, foodie. Okay, so stage one, we're 33 out of 50. Not too bad. Once we get to 50, we'll get the extra 50, and this will make it so that we can get a um, summon our epic or legendary. So if you come from Rhea Chow Legends, for example, this would be a uh, sacred shard. Which is definitely worth the value, and it's not hard to get all the way up there, looking through it. Dungeon, you get, yeah, flo Void Tower Floor 23, embarrassing. But you've got this, I'm not, you got five per day, you want to push these, don't look at them, they're embarrassing as well. Uh, no Man's Land, this changes every, you know, we're starting this in four hours, this I'm definitely going to be grinding for. I don't really have fire at the moment that I really want to invest in. Um... Well, Endless Trial, again, I've been slacking on this. I should be up to like 40 or 50. I'm going to do this after this. Uh, Bounty Hunt, I hit a wall on 28, but I can try that again just after this video as well. See if we can push it, because I think we can get to 30. Let's go back. Oh yeah, so my team, it kind of changed a bit since last time. Right now we're using Hydrosia, we're using Kane, we're using Urzak? Yep, and Melissa. Melissa, I'm keeping at 40 right now because I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with her or not. I think we might be replacing her with the seven day uh, login. We got Elfin, or er, Dill, whatever. I was going to say Elfin Dill. And Virgil, which he's cool, but his kit seems boring. And same with him, his kit just seems kind of lackluster, at least to me right now. Not worth investing in, but. Down the line, I'm sure he's better to invest in than some of the uh, epics. Okay, next. What was I looking at? Okay, adventure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right now we're on 6 out of 1, but that's just because we were grinding for glyphs. Not, I think we can get through 6 at least. Yeah, arena, just quick look. It's just bronze 2 right now. I've been slacking again. And there was something else I wanted to look at. Hmm. Oh yeah. We're gonna do it ten times. Just to finish it off, because I've already done it ten times and you know <clears throat> sometimes in life you're just supposed to do it ten times even though against your best judgment. I already did one ten times and it was all uh elites. Or, they seem like rare or they're all rares. What are epics? What I don't know. They're blue. It wasn't very exciting. Now, I'm only expecting blues from this pull as well. However, if we got an epic, that'd be kind of cool. And also, if we got dupe blues, that'd be good too, to kind of push towards synthesis. And I'm sure some of the blues down the line may be worth investing in as well, but right now we're not going to be overly investing. So let's do it 10 times, see if we get anything, which if it shows yellow, we do. But otherwise, it's just going to be rare. We do have yellow. Okay, so there's going to be something in here. That's a little lackluster. Okay. This is new. This is new. That's cool. What does she do? The Book of Runes preserves me. Can't really get too invested in another water character, I feel like, but let's see what she does for every positive effect this character has. Their abilities affect one extra enemy. That's kind of cool. Attack is S, speed is B, crit rate is A. That's also very good, but she is low on health and defense. Deal 70% damage to an enemy and grants random stats up to this character for one turn. Does this go up to two turns? No. Okay. But that means she'll be attacking two times for the next one. Applies attack up and immune for two turns. So this character is buffed by hazard effect. So using this for random stats up in the next turn using this would be good. Wait. Passive. Hmm. Uh, 
I'm a little bit confused by that. That seems really strong. He has 20% damage to an enemy. If the enemy is killed, this ability's cooldown is reset. That's also really cool. Ability is reduced by one turn. One turn, yeah. That's also pretty good. It, you know what? Maybe we will invest in her. Not quite yet, but something also to mention real quick. You go to bio. Never mind. I'm a liar. But a lot of times the characters have a bio. You can check and then you can claim uh, crystals. And oh yeah, let me just show really quick. So right now we're grinding glyphs for her because we need to get glyph level four. Right now we are at glyph three. We are grinding 8 out of 10 there, 1 out of 10, that's embarrassing. But this one is going to be from 6-5. I don't think that's going to be too bad. 6-3, not bad. 6-6, six, six, again, not bad. So we're going to definitely get this up to level uh, 4 so that we can finish up that rookie event challenge. And yeah, again, we're working towards Myla, which she's super cool. I love her design. It kind of reminds me of... Um, it's definitely not, but I just love the dual wizarding axes and from League of Legends. And again, I know it's not, but it just reminds me of Olaf, and uh, I just I loved Olaf in the early days, and that's just nostalgic. But this is like cool redhead, which I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm a sucker for redheads. So <laughs> nice, but yeah, she'll probably find a way into my team in some area at some point. However, if you do stumble upon this video, I would love any sort of advice going through here that you see, maybe to replace my team or other characters that just, you know, stick out to you that I might be overlooking that I should invest in. Because I know there are some that are probably good that are blues. It's just right now I'm a sucker for when you have the higher characters, you know, just, just mm, delicious, you know? Okay. Okay. So I'm going to now try to push for glyphs with for uh, Hydrosia, and that's about it. Thank you for stopping by. We're going to see our next update at some point, probably once we get um, Myla and finish up as much as we can. I'll update that so that'll be in like, what, four days? Yeah, you, you see, like, I, I made that little stall there just to, mm. but yeah. Thanks for uh, stopping in. And future me, can I make fun of myself for all these decisions? Am I overlooking a character that I wish I invested in sooner? We'll find out. Alright, take care guys.